Iran's new president, Ebrahim Raisi, has named Hussein Amir Abdullah Hayan as the country's new foreign minister. Abdullah Hayan, who is known for his anti-Western rhetoric, will replace moderate Mohammad Jawad Zarif, who's held the position for the past eight years. Well, for more on this, I'm joined now by our foreign affairs editor, Philip Turl. Philip, what more can you tell us about this nomination? Well, he's not a very well-known person internationally so far, Hassan Amir Abdul Hayin. And uh, I think that uh, his nomination, although not a surprise in Iran, will, I think, probably raise a few eyebrows around the world and maybe a few eyebrows of people who are concerned about just where this leads relationships between uh, the West and Iran. There are a few things we know about him already. He was born in 1964 in Damgahan in northern uh, Iran. He's 57 years old now. Uh, he came really to the spotlight back in 2007 when he was part of a three-member Iranian delegation in talks with the United States over Iraq. He then became uh, ambassador for Iran to Bahrain before being called back at the start of the uh, civil war in Syria, where he became deputy foreign minister in charge of Arab and African affairs, notably in charge of Syria and Iraq, and also the situation in Lebanon and in Yemen. So he has already a lot of diplomatic experience. Now, as you were saying, he is perceived as being a conservative. He's known to be close uh, to the supreme leader of Iran, uh, Ali Khamenei, uh, and he's also someone who is not known as being a pragmatist or uh, someone who is open to negotiation. Of course, all of that needs to be taken, I think, uh, at the moment with a certain degree of caution. Uh, he's also known to be close to the uh, Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps in uh, Iran, and I think that will be cause for concern for the United States because that organization is already listed as a terrorist organization. And he was named by uh, the newly elected uh, president of Iran, uh, who is also under sanctions uh, by the United States, Ibrahim Raisi. He's under sanctions because of what the United States uh, seems uh, or says are uh, human rights abuses uh, over the last few years in Iran. And with this man in charge of Iranian foreign policy going forward, what sorts of changes in that policy are we likely to see, Philip? Well, that is the question everybody's asking right now. What we do know is that uh, he will be less open to dialogue with the West. Now, you have to take all of this, I think, in context. Uh, I think the best way of summing this up is, uh, will he speak the language of the West or will he not speak the language of the West? You've seen uh, with Mohammed Jawad Zarif over the last eight years, uh, someone who is basically speaking the language of the West. But there is still a uh, little advance uh, made in the uh, ongoing discussions over the Iranian uh, nuclear agreement, uh, even though there have been six rounds of talks uh, with the outgoing foreign minister. Uh, so it looks as though the uh, incoming uh, new foreign minister is going to be slightly more less open to the West. But there is a very strong pecking order in Iran. And uh, the foreign minister uh, depends on the president. And the president himself depends on the supreme leader, Mohammed Ali uh, Khamenei. So uh, whatever happens, it is uh, Khamenei who has the final word. And if Khamenei says he wants an agreement with the United States on the nuclear accord, uh, then that agreement will be found. And you have to remember also that even if there are moderates uh, in charge uh, in Iran, uh, they are all supporting uh, the Iranian revolution, the Ira Iranian Islamic revolution. So uh, this new foreign minister may be a little bit more hardline in his rhetoric. Uh, but the bottom line is that uh, if he's being told to sign a nuclear agreement with the United States, then that nuclear agreement will be signed. If he's being told not to, then that agreement will not be signed.